Thank you so much. Uh, happy New Year. Uh, in advance. In, in Bakia Masa, less than 10 hours. Sili Iri to Bukemwaka. Amen. No, I should use water because of Babi Akwana Nakuja Kanisa Hiri Tangu Tangia Sikia January. Adi wakati humu ya choka na tumebarikiwa pamoja. Amen. Hata nami nashukuru kwa sababu ya kuwapata. Sababu kama hamu ngekuwa kwa singe pata mtu ya kuhibiria. Wana asifio. Kuna jambo ya kuchukuru mungu. Kwa sababu ya yare mungu wamefanya. Amen. My, my topic today, very simple one, tasema, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Mungu atakupa ishara. Amen. Mungu atakupatia ishara. Na tutaona ni ishara anini. Ya kushukuru. Wana asfiwe. Ata Yesu mwenye. Katika Madhi chapter number 11 and verses 25. Madhi chapter number 11 verses 25. Inasema. Madhi chapter number 11 and verses 25. Praise the name of the Lord. In the same At that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and hast revealed them from babies, from unto babies. Wakati huwa Yesu alisema, na kushukuru e baba, wana wabingu na dunia. Maana umeficha, mwaficha wenye hekima na wenye elimu mambo haya. Ukawafunulia wadogo. Hii mambo ni gani? Ni mambo ya kushukuru. Ni mambo ya kujua bwana. Ni mambo ya kukiri ya kwamba Yesu ni mwokozi. Alificha wenye hekima, wenye elimu mambo haya na akawafichulia sisi kushukuru bwana bwana asifiwe so ishara ya kuoneshana kwamba wewe unaelekea pari pazuri na Mungu ni kushukuru bwana amen hata wazee kuna wazee 24 katika revelation chapter 11 and verse 16 revelation chapter 11 and verse 16 revelation Kisha wala waze ishirini na waine, walio keti mbele, mbele ya mungu, katika kiti viti vyao vya enzi, wakaanguka kifundifundi, waka muabudu mungu. Uh, 17. Waka, wakisema, tuna kushukuru e bwana, mungu mwenye nguvu, ulioko na ulioku wako, maana umetumia nguvu yako ku, 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 ukaanza utawala. So was tunaungana pamoja na wale wazee 24. Bwana asifiwe. Wazee hao 24 huwa mfano wa the 12 men ambao walienda ku explore Canaan and tunajua wale wazee walitumwa na Moses kwenda ku explore Canaan. Na the disciples wa Yesu the 12. Wote wakaungana kwa 24. Na wanasema ya kwamba wameungana pamoja, tumeungana pamoja ili kumshukuru Bwana. Kwa sababu those 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 uh, 24 elderly men they they were saying we give thanks to you lord almighty the one who is who is and who was because you have taken your great power and have begun to reign praise the name of the lord the lord shall give a sign a sign can be a token a sign can be a pledge kama vile tume pledge kwamba eh Tunaenda kujenga hii mjengo wetu. Na wengi wame preji. Hata nimekuja na hizi basha so that we pray for them. Amen. Bwana asfia sana. So a preji, a, 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 a sign can be a token or a preji. Or a proof and a miracle. And I'm, I'm a miujiza. Praise the name of the Lord. Ni mungu ali promise Noah with a sign of a rainbow. Katika Genesis chapter number 9 and verses 12 and 13. 
Genesis chapter number 9, verses 12 and 13. In the same hymn. And God said, This is the sign of the covenant I'm making between me and you, and every creature with you. A covenant for all generations to come. A sign. Alimwambia nitakuonyesha ishara. Mimi na wewe. Unakumbuka hata Ibrahim kuna wakati Mungu alimweleza akamwambia kwamba nitakubariki shall be a great man shall be a father of the nation utabarikiwa Moses akamuliza kwamba na itakuwaje nitajuaje ya kwamba hayo umesema itatendeka akamwambia ishana rete ufanya dhabihu katika madhabahu amen praise the name of the lord i have set my rainbow in the clouds and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth yani akasema nimeweka Amen. Rainbow, you know the rainbow. Bwana asifiwe sana. Akaambia Noah, nitaweka a rainbow wakati nitakapo nitakapokuwa nimesahau ishara ya kuonyeshana ya kwamba sita kuma, sita maliza dunia nitaweka upinde eh, ni upinde bwana asifiwe sana upinde wangu mawinguni na utakuwa ishara ya agano kati ya dunia ya kati yangu na dunia there is always a sign that god is moving with you hallelujah you know when you serve a god who has who has a sign that ambaye uh, anakuonyesha ishara ya kwamba unamtumikia Amen. Huyo ndio Mungu tunahitaji. Bwana asifiwe sana. Juzi vijana nilikuwa naongea na one of my youth hapa. Kamwambia nilipigiwa simu na mtu mmoja akaniambia kwamba watu fulani wamekataa na pesa zake. Nikamwambia nilikuwa naendesha gari. Juzi tu wiki kama kadhaa imepita. Nikamwambia kwamba eh yule mwenye ameshika ame, ame hiyo pesa Asiye na amani hadi akupigie simu. Na baada ya kuweka simu chini, baadaye alirudi kunipigia akaniambia, "Walinipigia simu, wakanipilipa pesa nusu." Huyo ndio Mungu tunataka kutumikia. Yule Mungu ambaye ana ishara. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In Genesis in Exodus chapter 4 verse 7 and 8, God taught Moses and showed him a sign through his hand alimuonyesha ishara yale atakayeenda kuambia kuonyesha farao na wana wa Israeli akamwambia nao eh, tuweke kwa Kiswahili tutafadhali kisha Mungu akamwambia igiza tena mkono wako kifuani mwako Moses akaingiza mkono wake kifuani na alipotoa nje kumbe ukaru, ukarudia hali yake ya kawaida kama ilivyo mwili wa, mwili wake Alikuwa ameambia kwamba ata, Mungu atamuonyesha atatumia ishara ili wana wa Israeli wakubali ya kwamba amemtuma. Amen. Verses 8. Verses 8. Mungu akamwambia Mose, wasipokuamini au kusadiki ishara ya kwanza, yawezekana wakaamini ishara ya pili. Haleluya. Tutumikie huyo Mungu mwenye ishara praise the name of the lord hallelujah tulikuwa msimu wa, wa christmas hata bado jaisha na isaya chapter 7 verses 14 inasema namna gani isaya chapter number 7 verses 14 therefore the lord himself will give you a sign haya basi bwana mwenyewe atakuwa atawapa ishara msichana atachukua mimba atajifungua mtoto wa kiume na kumuita jina lake Immanuel. So na ni wakati wa Isaya, miaka zaidi ya 500 na huku nyuma. Akasema ya kwamba ishara yale ambayo itaonekana ili Mungu aonekane ajulikane ya kwamba ako upande wa Israeli. Haya eh, ata, atawapa ishara msichana hii atachukua mimba, atajifungua mtoto wa kiume na kumuita jina lake Immanuel. Sirudi katendeka juzi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. Emmanuel means Messiah, our Savior, 
who is who ha, who as having united the divine with the human nature Emmanuel means Messiah our savior who as having united the divine with the human nature yani inaita misa inasema mkombozi ambaye atatukomboa atatushikamanisha the divine yani kiroho na, na, na the human nature having come to dwell with men is god with us bwana asifiwe sana hallelujah kwa hivyo mungu akanene ya isaya akamwambia nitapatia na ishara ili umjue kwamba bado yuko pamoja na nyinyi hallelujah in first timothy chapter 3 verse 16 timothy leo wa kwanza chapter 3 verse 16 Inasema and without controversy great is the mystery of godliness God was manifest in the flesh justified in the spirit seen of angels preached unto the gentiles believed unto the world received up into glory kwa Kiswahili inasema hakuna mashaka yoyote bisha Kiswahili Hakuna mashaka yote juu ya ukuu wa siri ya dini yetu. Alionekana katika umbo la kibinadamu. Aliyodhibitishwa na roho kuwa ni mwadilifu. Akaonekana na maraika. Alihubiriwa kati ya mataifa. Alimwamini aliaminiwa ulimwenguni. Akachukuliwa juu katika utukufu. Hakuna mashaka yoyote juu ya ukuu wa siri ya dini yetu. Amen. There is no no doubt. Bwana asifiwe. That we serve the living God. Hata kama tumepitia mambo mazito, hata kama mwaka hii naweza sema ya kwamba nimepitia mambo mazito. Tulisomewa asubuhi wa roho wako umefika katika 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verses number 8 down. Mbaya ndikui kwa Kiswahili. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verses 8 down. Nasema daima tuwapata taabu lakini hatugandamizi. Yaani tumepata taabu, tumepitia katika mashida, tumepitia katika taabu nyingi lakini hatugandamizi. Tuwapata mashaka. Amen. Lakini hatu, hatu, hatukati tamaa. Verses 9. Lakini tuwatukati tamaa. Tuwateseka. Yaani watu wengi wameteseka. Bwana asifiwe. Najua ya kwamba kila mmoja hapa anaweza sema mwaka hii isipokuwa ni Mungu alikuwa upande wetu, upande wangu ningekuwa nimemalizika. Amen. Lakini kwa sababu Mungu alikuwa upande wako, akaonyesha ishara ya kwamba hautamalizika juu yako upande wako. Tuateseka lakini hatuachi bila msaada. Hata kama tumeteseka kuna msaada. Hallelujah. Kuna msaada. Na mi, mara mingi naona Mungu na, anapofanya anataka kufanya jambo, lazima kuwe na shika bahari ili Mungu awachilie baraka. Sometimes we are punished. Sometimes we pass through the 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 the, 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 the wilderness. Ili Mungu ili tunapopokea yale baraka, tusiseme ya kwamba ni sisi ni bahati yetu. Najua wengine wasemaga ni kidole chake. Lakini unapitia katika mambo magumu ili Mungu aonekane katika hayo mambo mazito. Tuateseka lakini hatuachi bila msaada. Ana ingawa tumeangushwa chini hata kama you are laid down hatuangamizwi. Hatutaangamizwa. Amen. Hata kama ulikuwa umeangamizwa chini, pengine hata mwaka hii kuna siku mbili tatu hata ungeweza kufanya jambo kwa sababu ulikuwa kitandani. Lakini ni vizuri kukumbuka kwamba hii ni ishara ya Mungu ya kwamba anataka kukubariki. Haleluya. Tukasomewa mambo ya Job. Job ujue ya kwamba hakuwa pale wakati shetani na Mungu alikuwa na bishana. Job was just relaxing akirisha kondoro zake na ngombe zake nyumbani na ngamia. Lakini shetani akamtembelea Mungu. Biblia inasema ya kwamba wakati shetani alipoonekana katika the entirety ya watakatifu ya malaika wa Mungu Biblia inasema Mungu akamuuliza umetoka wapi? Akamwambia nimetoka kurandaranda duniani. Akamuuliza, "Did you remember? Did you touch 
my, a man of integrity, a man who is righteous, a man that obeys my order, a man ambaye ni mtu mtakatifu na mwaminifu, ambaye jina lake ni Job. Akasema wacha 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 Mungu, ni umemzingira na bila mali. Amen. Job hakuwako. Hata alikuwa meridati pengine alikuwa naomba alikuwa katika maombezi. Lakini Mungu alimwachilia katika mikononi mwa shetani. Akamwambia kwamba just go and try him. Remove all whatever that is unasema tumemzingira naye. Eh muondolee hiyo ukuta uone ya kwamba bado atasimama. Sasa sometimes kuna ishara ya kuonyeshana kwamba wewe unatembea na Mungu. Bwana asifiwe sana wakati ambapo unaona mateso iko mbele yako wakati ambapo unaona kwamba unapitia katika jangwa jua ya kwamba Mungu bado yuko pa kitakindi chake cha enzi na bado anakusudia ana, ana kukutenda mazuri baadaye hata job neno lisema katika job tatu tatu ya kwamba eh, eh, heri siku ambayo nilizaliwa ikaraaniwa yani siku ambayo mama alipiga ngemi ingekuwa hayuko kwa sababu ya ile shida alikuwa amepata kwa sababu ya mali zake zilikuwa zimeangamia kwa sababu mambo mengi yalikuwa imemuishia ime, ime tabu ilikuwa imemshika mwili wake ulikuwa ume, ume, na uchungu lakini job mwenyewe i thank the god for job chapter 19 of job verse 24 25 26 akasema ona ona mwili wako oge oge kathia hata mwili wangu ichipuke ngozi yangu ichipuke Can you put Najua uh, mkombozi 24 24 24 Dudia Raiti angechoro kwa chuma na risasi juu ya jiwe ili adumu verse 25 now Najua wazi mkombozi wangu anaishi mwishoe yeye atanipa haki yangu hapa hapa duniani Amen Atampa haki yake hapa hapa duniani Anajua ya kwamba alijua hata kama mateso ni mengi hata kama alikari lala usiku bila uh, I mean, bila usingizi aliteseka mambo yake ilienda il, mlama lakini job akasema najua najua ya kwamba Mungu huyu Mungu wangu hapa hapa dunia ataniujia praise the name of the lord na baada ya gozi yangu kuharibiwa hivyo amen nitamuona Mungu kwa macho yangu mwenyewe aliamini ya kwamba hata kama ujue ya kwamba alikuwa na shida ya gozi alikuwa kila pahari imeumia alikuwa kila pahari na uchungu na Biblia nasema na yeye job huyu ndiye alikuwa job chapter 3 verse 3 akiraani siku ambayo alikuwa amefanya nini amezaliwa akisema heri hiyo siku aiinge kwako ili asizaliwe lakini alikaa akasema hata kama gozi yangu imeweza kuwa imechipuka na uchungu mwingi nimepitia Najua najua baada ya gozi yangu haribio hivyo na, na, na nitamuona Mungu kwa macho yangu mwenyewe hata wewe na tafadhali ni vizuri kusema hivyo ya kwamba atiakata kama ulipitia katika mambo mazito haleluya hata kama umepitia hii mwaka mwaka hii ambapo Mungu alipeana roto prophecies na mambo mazuri lakini pengine jatendeka katika maisha yako but god is still uh, sitting on his on his throne hallelujah na alikuwa kwa huyu mungu wa job bado yuko hata siku ya leo we, do, we may not prefer the, the first part of job lakini the last part of job bana asifiwe sana tunda imension nega sana hata job 38 verse 11 to 13 inasema mungu akamuuliza have you ever umeshai chukua miisho ya dunia zote ine na kutingiza maovu na kuimwaga chini haleluya job that job tangu azaliwa umewahi kumwamuru kupambazuke the, 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 the noon the, 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 the morning na kulifanya pambazuko lijue mahali pake yani ana Mungu anamuuliza swali kati kama ya kwamba hata kama amepitia hamwa mazito god asked him the question haleluya lakini job alisimama na kusema Tulisomea Job 42 verses 5. Ilikuwa inasema nimekuwa nikikusikia. Amen. Nimesikia ishara zako, matendo zako, lakini kweli nilikuwa nimesikia habari zako kwa masikio tu. Lakini sasa nakuona kwa macho yangu mwenyewe. 
si Mungu aonekane kwa macho yako mwenyewe. Huyo Mungu ambaye amekupitisha katika mambo mazito, si umuone ishara ya kuonekana uonekana au kuonekanie. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So, hii ni kusema hakuna mashaka vyovyote yoyote juu ya ukuu asili ya dini yetu. Alionekana katika umbo la binadamu, adhibitishwa na roho kuwa mwadilifu, akaonekana na maraika, alihubilia kati ya mataifa. Aliwaaminiwa popote ulimwenguni, akachukuliwa juu mbinguni katika utukufu wake. Hallelujah. Huyu ni Yesu ambaye Paul anaambia Timotheo. And hata wakati wa Yesu tumesoma uh, Isaiah chapter 7 verses 14 kwamba kutakuwa na ishara ya Bikra msichana um, Bikra atapata miba na kuzaa mtoto wa kijana. Amen. Sasa wakati wa, uh, wa, wa, wa kuzaliwa kwa kikafika in Luke chapter number 1 and verse 26 Biblia inasema the angel of God came to prepare Mary by saying you are highly favored. Hallelujah. Maraika wa Mungu akaja aka prepare Mary kwa ishara akamwambia wewe umebarikiwa. Ume, ume Amen. Mnamo mwezi wa sita, Maraika Gabriel alitumwa na Mungu. Aende kwenye mji wa utawa wa Nazareth huko Galilaya. Akafanya namna gani? That for Twende that for to Okay, kwa msichana mmoja Bikra aitoa uh, uh, Maria, mchumba mtu mmoja jina lake Yosefu ya ukoa Daudi. Can you rush that for please? Maria akamjibu, yatawezekanaje hali mimi ni Bikira? Amen. Akauliza swali, akamuliza itawezekanaje na mimi ni Bikira? Na alikuwa amesemekana miaka mia na mia. zaidi ya miaka mia tano. ya kwamba kutakuwa na msichana ambaye ni Bikra ishara ya Mungu. Haleluya. Ishara ya kanisa ambayo inaendelea. Ishara ya, ya, ya familia ambayo ina, imebarikiwa. Si Mungu aonyesha na ishara. Na hiyo ishara ndio Mungu ndio watu watakuogopa. Atajua kwamba una Mungu ambao unaabudu. Una Praise the name of the Lord. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. Katika chapter number 2 of uh, Luke chapter number 2 from verses the late from verses 7 downwards lakini tutasoma verses 9 verses 8 and 9 katika sehemu hizo walikuwa kwa wachungaji wakikesha usiku bugani kulinda mifugo zao katika 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 mm, maraika wa bwana akawatokea ghafla na utukufu wa bwana ukaangazia pande zote wakaogopa sana endelee hadi toroka Maraika akawaambia msiogope nimewaleteni habari jema ya furaha ya Bwana. Ya furaha kubwa ya it, ya furaha kubwa itakayowapata watu wote. Verse 11. Kwa maana leo hii katika mji wa Daudi amezaliwa mwokozi kwa ajili yenu ndiye Kristo Bwana. Na, na hiki kitakuwa ki, kitabulisho kwenu mtamkuta mta, eh, mta mtoto mchanga amevikwa nguo za kitoto amerazo horini can you put verse 12 in either in a, in a NIV this will be a sign that's what I was looking for amen akaambia hii itakuwa ishara kwenu sasa ni wachungaji wanaambia hivi ishara ya kwamba mjue ya kwamba huu ni mtoto ambaye ni, ni mtoto wa kipekee atakuwa amezaliwa na kuweko katika gorini this will be a sign to you will find a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a, ma- in a manga verse 12 to 14 13 suddenly a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angels praising god and saying kwa ghafla maraika wakaja wakaanza kumsifu bwana pamoja na walinzi wachungaji glory to god in the highest heaven and on earth to those on whom his favor rests so ishara ikapatikana praise the name of the lord hallelujah messiah was called a prince of peace huyu messiah akaitwa 
mfalme wa amani. Hallelujah. Katika cha, Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 I think we read it last time. For a child for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his soldiers, shoulders. His name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Ata wakati moja he promised his disciples peace in John chapter 14 verse 27 kuhakikisha kwamba alikuwa the prince of peace akasema namna gani katika John chapter number 14 verse 27 peace i leave you my peace i give to you not as the world gives uh, gives it gives uh, gives to you don't let your heart be troubled neither let it be uh, let it be uh, be, be fearful. Peace I live with you. Amani na waachia. Kwa sababu aliambia pale Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 ya kwamba huyu atakuwa mfalme wa amani. Amen. Si huyu mfalme wa amani akupea amani. Hata pahari ambapo una amani, si Mungu akupea amani. Hallelujah. Akaambia the disciples akaambia peace I live with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Kwa hivyo huyu mfalme wa amani, si unapokuwa unataangika, unataabika, si huyu mfalme wa amani akupe amani. Katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Baadaye kuna hawa the magi followed the star katika Matthew chapter number 2. Biblia inasema the magi ama wanawari Majuzi, where they followed the star in the east to go and worship the child, but passed the king Herod. Hallelujah. That is verses, chapter 2, verses 1 to 7. Verses 7. Verses 7. Asema. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. Eight. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. Unajua sasa, after the other Sunday, tuliona, wakati wa Christmas, tuliona hili nene. Ya kwamba, wakati mwingine, mungu utumana baraka kwako. Lakini ina, ina, inakuwa diverted. Amen. Hii ni baraka ilikuwa inenda kwa Yesu. Kwa sababu ilikuwa na mene mene, gold and, and, and silver and they were going to give a gift to the child but they passed through the enemy waka diverti kapereko kwa adui na tukatangaze ya kwamba baraka zako azita azita na kwa adui hallelujah baraka zako zija katika let them fight you let them fight you wherever you are praise the name of the Lord you know hell Lord hakuwa na, na mama mazuri kwa yesu Alikuwa ataka, hata si badaya alirudi akauwa watoto wa ya miaka miwili mitatu. Amen. So, your blessings shall not be diverted. We are now declaring today. Nakuwa baraka zako, hazita pereko kari parikano. Hazita ena na adui. Mwaka ujao. Pengine mwaka hii ziri, ziri kuwa diverted kama vile herald alipanya. Lakini mwaka hii, hazita kuwa diverted. Praise the name of the Lord. Si useme hazita kuwa diverted. Unajua, our blessing shall not be diverted. We claim back all that has gone with the Herod. Chochote ambaye mwaka hii iliena na Herode. Amen. We claim them back. Ineza kuwa ribio, ineza kuwa rinyaganyo, rifanya kazi ya ukulipo. Amen. Uyo ni Herod alijaribu kukunyaganya. Lakini tuna claim mwaka hii namba inakuja. We are only a few hours to, 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 to the new year. And we are proclaiming all what has gone with the herald. Praise the name of the Lord. Unajua, kwa sababi ya nini, si alizariwa mokozi. And Matthew chapter 4 verse 16, asema na mnagani. The people living in darkness, Matthew chapter 4 verse 16. People living in darkness have seen a great light in the, in, 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 on those in the land of the shadow of death. A light has dawned. The people living in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. Wale ambaye wanaishi katika gizani, 
Mungu ameleta mwangaza sababu Yesu alizaliwa ndani yetu. Praise the name of the Lord. Wale wanaishi katika bonde la mauvu la mauti Mungu amelete mwangaza kwa sababu siku yako imefika na hiyo siku ndiyo tunatazamia praise the name of the lord hallelujah as i finish up in, in john chapter 3 verses 19 nasema john chapter 3 verses 19 and this is the condemnation the right has come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil the verses they are This is the verdict light has come into the world. But people love darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. And first Thessalonians chapter number 5 verses 3 to 5. I'm rushing so that tumalize haraka ili tukuje katika mkesha wa kuvuka mwaka. And first Thessalonians chapter number 5 verse 3. While people are saying peace and safety Destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on pregnant women. And they will not escape verses 4. But you have you brothers and sisters are not in darkness. Bwana asifiwe. You brothers and sisters are not in darkness so that this day should surprise you like a thief. May the day surprise you like a thief. Because you are not in darkness. Hebrew ya kwa Kiswahili verse 4. Bwana asifiwe sana. Lakini nyinyi dugu hamko gizani. Na siku hiyo haipaswi kuwa jeni ghafla kama vile mwizi. Verse 5 kwa Kiswahili. Nyinyi nyote ni watu mnaoishi katika mwanga. Watu wa mchana si sisi watu wa usiku wala wa giza. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kwa hivyo hii siku haitatukujia kama weze kama mwizi. We are prepared for the new year. We are prepared for the day of the blessings of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And lastly, chapter uh, Isaiah chapter number 42 and verse 6 and verse 7 na tutasoma nyingine. Amen. Mimi mwenyezi Mungu nimekuita kutenda haki nimekushika mkono na kukurinda kwa jia yako nitawaweka hadi ahadi na watu wote wewe utakuwa mwanga wa mataifa basis uta utafumbua macho ya vipovu utawatoa fungwa gerezani walio kaa gizani watawaletea uhuru basis okay that, that's now jina la, langu ni mimi ni mwenyezi Mungu utukufu wangu sitawapa mwingine wala sifa zangu sinama sa, sana, zangu sa, sanamu za miungu wala sifa zangu sanamu za miungu bwana asifiwe There are three things that the, 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 the Lord has spoken to Isaiah in that in those verses. Number one, to open the eyes that are blind. Kufungua macho ya vipovu. Bwana asifiwe. Unajua macho ya vipovu sio lazima iwe ni macho the physical eyes. Hata inaweza kuwa ni macho ya kiroho. Hauoni baraka ambayo Mungu amekuwekea mbele zako. Si Mungu akufunulie hiyo macho uone baraka ambayo Mungu amekuitia. Hata Paulo akasema katika Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 18, ninapoombea nyinyi kila wakati napopiga magoti, naomba ya kwamba Mungu akawafungue na, na, na muomba Mungu awafunue mioyo yenu iweze kuona mwanga wake, mpate kutambua ile tumaini ililowaitieni na utukufu mkuu wa zaidi wa zawadi alizoweka alizowekea watu wake so mungu afungue macho muone the, 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 the glorious riches ahead of you that is kept in heaven because of you praise the name of the lord si mungu afungue macho si mungu afungue macho uone mbele uone pari mungu anakuelekeza na poza yesu wakati alipokuja ishara moja ilikuwa ni kwamba he shall open 
the eyes that are blind. Number two, to free captives from the prison. Atafungua wale wafungwa katika gerezani. Amen. Unaweza kuwa umefungwa katika gereza, sio lazima iwe ni gereza ya physical gereza. Inaweza kuwa ni gereza ya umaskini, ni gereza ya una, una, unaenda hatua tano mbele unarudi ile nyuma ama sita nyuma. Inaweza kuwa umefungwa gereza ya hata kutoendelea hata uvutaji wa sigara na bangi na drugs. Hiyo ni gereza. Lakini Yesu anasema kwamba nimekuja kuwa, kuset the captive free. Praise the name of the Lord. Si Mungu afungue watoto wetu. Si Mungu afungue hata wazee wenu na mama wenu katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Hata Isaya 42 verse 23 anasema wengi wamevitwea kwa gerezani na kutupo katika mashimo. Lakini kumekosa mtu ambaye anaweza shout be, may they be restored. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm here to announce be restored. They used to be set back. But these people are plundered and rooted. All of them trapped in pits are all hidden away in prison. They have become plundered. They have no one to rescue them. They have been made root with no one to say, send them back. We are here to say, restore them today. We are here to say, watoto wetu ambao wamepotelea mtaani, may they be restored today. Wazee wetu waliopotea mtaani, may they be restored come 2024, the year of the of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May our ladies ambao wamepotea katika na kutupua katika gerezani, Mungu awatoe katika jina la Yesu. So mambo mawili hapo tumeona kwamba alikuja to open the eyes of the blind to free captives from the prison and the last one to release from the dungeon those who sit in darkness alikuja kuwakomboa wale ambao wamefungwa katika gerezani wale ambao wamewekwa katika gizani hawajui waende mbele wajui waende nyuma mbele zao ni giza iko pale si Mungu waangazie kwa sababu Yesu alizaliwa na ni mwanga wa ni mwanga na nuru ya ulimwengu. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The sign. The Lord shall send a sign to you. May the Lord send a sign. Mungu akupe ishara ya kuoneshana kwamba you are praising or you are praying the light of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Si tusimame sasa tushukuru Bwana. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Si tuombe kwa dakika tatu ambie Bwana akusaidie kwa sababu neno nasema ya kwamba anakuja kufungua sisi macho yetu wale waliofungwa macho. Kuna wengine hata hakuagi na maono. They just wait waambie ya kwamba uterekeza upande hii. Sababu they are bright. Si Mungu afungue macho uone utukufu wa Bwana uone mari ambaye Mungu amekuwekea utajiri ambaye Yesu wako naye Yesu Yesu ambaye ni the prince of peace ambaye ni, ni mfalme wa amani akupe amani you know without peace you cannot even see praise the name of the lord why don't you just raise your hand and tell god you surrender to him hii ni, ni, ni sunday ya mwisho wa mwaka hautaona sunday nyingine kama hii hautaona mwaka nyingine kama hii na ushukuru Bwana kwa sababu amekubali ukuje uwe katika siku ya leo uwe katika madhabahu kama hii ambayo utasikia kwamba Mungu atatuma ishara ya kuonyeshana ya kwamba we unatumikia Mungu aliye katika jina la Yesu na tangaza ya kwamba mfalme wa ajabu oh my god and my father oh lord the lord the bible says that jesus was to come and he came so that to open eyes that are blind to breathe captives from the prison to release from the dungeon those who sit in darkness father in jesus name may you dear lord open the eyes of the blind open the eyes of the blind oh god set them free set them free those in captivity from prison in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, release those in dungeon, those who sit in darkness, let the right shine upon them. Katika jina la Yesu, natangaza siku ya leo kufunguliwa kwa mateka, natangaza siku ya leo 
Bwana ukonyeshe ishara ya kwamba we serve a living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh dear Father, this is the last day, the last Sunday of this year 2023. Lord, I pray kwa sababu umetuonyesha ishara ya kwamba uko pamoja nasi, unatembea pamoja nasi. Tuliona siku ambayo tulikuwa tunakushukuru Bwana ukitenda makubwa, ukionekana mfano wa ajabu ni kwa sababu neno lako lasema sio because of the charges not because of the horses but it's because of the holy spirit your presence in thine house of god oh lord we have seen you in this year we have seen you healing oh lord tumekuona ukipoja ukiinua ukiangaza ukitenda makubwa ukiinua watu na kuapa kibari mbele zako na mbele za binadamu katika jina la yesu natangaza siku ya leo na mwaka hii ambaye inaisha Bwana mtakatifu tunakushukuru kwa sababu umekuwa nasi haujatuachilia mikononi mwa adui neno nasema ya kwamba haukutuachilia mikononi mwa aliyo tudhalao haukutuachilia mikononi mwa adui so that we may serve you without fear lord i pray Lord I pray that come 2024 help your people to serve you diligently to serve you Lord without fear or intimidation katika jina la Yesu natangaza wema na fadhili za Bwana miongoni mwetu Bwana rehema mwaka huu ambaye nakuja tutaingia mwaka huu Bwana sio kama vile mwizi uja nyumbani umetuambia sisi sio watoto wa gizani sisi ni watoto wa mwanga katika jina la Yesu tuwatajitangazia uhuru tuwajitangazia ushindi tuwajitangazia Bwana wa rehema onekana katika maisha yetu onekana katika nyumba zetu onekana katika kanisa hili makanisa ambayo imeitanishwa na sisi Bwana onekana 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 katika jamii oh lord katika biashara zao katika kazi ya mikono zao onekana mfalme wa ajabu my god my god katika jina la Yesu tuwatangaze ya kwamba hata wale wana competition wanakuwa wale ambao wana compete na nyinyi katika jina la Yesu in their business your business they shall be swallowed the way the snake of the snake of alon swallowed the witchcraft ones katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu yes competition will be there lakini bwana wa rehema utajidhihirisha ni kwa maana umesema sisi hatufanyi hatukai kama watu wa dini lakini bwana wa rehema sisi tuko watu wa mwanga katika jina la Yesu natangaza siku ya leo ukombozi 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 o oh, rabi sharianda bazeka rekere mama shandara rama zaya rekata yando bozeke ribashanda makuri kantara bazaya lord we thank you tunakupenda tunakuabudu bwana tunasema hatuna mungu kama wewe jina lako litukuzwe jina lako linuliwe bwana tuwatangaza wema na fadhili zako baba yangu katika jina la Yesu kila mmoja tuinue madhabahu mikono zetu tuwapelekesha katika madhabahu bwana mtakatifu na mwaminifu we are raising our hands high to you lord kwa ishara ya kusarenda kwako tunatangaza tunajitangazia tumeshinda kwa sababu umetushinda ni ya bwana wewe haukushindwa hata wakati walipokuangamiza wakakutunduka msarabani ukanao na kinywa kikubwa sana wakasema yote yamekwisha kipengele cha yote ambayo tulikuwa tumenakiliwa imevutuliwa mbali walipokuweka kaburini wakafikiria wameshinda lakini pale mfalme jeno lako lasema katika ufunuo ulitoka na vifunguo za kuzimu that means ulishinda bwana mtakatifu hata nazi tumeshinda kwa sababu umetushinda ni ya bwana mwaka hii ambayo inaisha tuna imani ya kwamba bwana chochote ulituahidia oh lord of mercy tuna imani ya kwamba you are god of the 11th hour you can do it even now you can heal us now you can exalt your people now you can be seen even now rikata ya ndobo zekarabashanda ramazeri mazaya oh god of mercy we are not ready to have a god 
kwa sababu za sekunde moja mbele zako ni kama sekunde elfu na elfu siku moja mbele zako ni siku ni miaka zaidi ya elfu na elfu katika jina la Yesu twatangaza twajitangazia ushindi kwa sababu umetushindania Bwana umetushindania Mwa daktari wakasema tumegonjeka lakini wewe Bwana ripoti yako ikasema tumepona katika jina la Yesu akatangaza oh, kwamba tumeisha lakini Bwana ripoti yako ikasema ni mwanzo wa kuanzia baraka katika jina la Yesu twajitangazia mwaka ujao Bwana wale hema tuna ushindi kuna ushindi kuna ushindi miongoni mwetu kuna ushindi and our vision is written in the big letters of God katika nyumba zetu katika kanisa hili tumeanakiri a vision lord oh lord of mercy wale wameanakiri vision zao katika nyumba zao zitimizike mwaka hii mwaka hii mwaka hii ambayo tunavuka mwaka wa 2024 tunatangazea kwamba chochote ambayo tuliahidiwa na Bwana lazima yatimizike kwa sababu mfalme Mungu wetu sio mdharumu na sio mtoto wa binadamu is not a son of a man that he may rise katika jina la Yesu tuatangaza neema ya Mungu iwe juu ya kila moja katika jina la Yesu Kristo Nazareti Thank you Lord Father in Jesus name This year 2023 I have names here O oh God Nazianika mbele za madhabahu haya walie preja kwamba mfalme wa Jacob atakujengea Bwana mtakatifu tuombea ukatajibishe ukawape mali mfalme wa Jacob so that they may be able to pay and redeem their pledges and not only their pledges of God they shall increase them dear father to a thousand times mara elfu mi elfu na elfu ili Bwana alehema wapate za kufanyia wewe kazi na kujifanyia kazi na kukula na kujisaidia katika jina la Yesu natangaza majina haya Bwana Mungu wetu kawabariki waache waone miaka hii mwaka ujao na miaka zingine zote zinayokuja katika jina la Yesu kwa sababu tutajenga na tutaishi tutakuabudia katika ile nyumba ubarikie uinulie Bwana katika jina la Yesu na baraka za Mungu zikae juu ya kila moja katika jina la Yesu Mungu awabariki unaposafiri Mungu awabariki unapo unaporudi nyumbani Mungu akuonekanie unapokuwa katika biashara zako katika jina la Yesu may the Lord protect you may his face shine upon you in the name of Jesus Christ those going by by road Mungu ahifadhi wa ilinde katika jina la Yesu wote utakaye safiri Mungu akaonekania we katika jina la baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu tumeomba na tumeamini shout amen shout again amen